7 of the Booktubeathon. So today is the final day. Um, I'm currently getting vlogs 5 and 6 up. They're currently like rendering and doing all that stuff. Um, I cleaned up what you saw was me trying to clean up a little bit. I still have to clean up some of the books over there. But it's a lot. <laughs> but anyways, yesterday or yeah, no, two days ago, I went to the book outlet warehouse in St. Catharines and I bought a few books so I want to show you guys so I got Deadlands Boneyard by Shauna McGuire this just looked really interesting and I've heard so far good things about it but it just sounds like my type of vibe like family circus wonder show and it looks like it's gonna be really weird and really awesome so I'm excited to read that one and then I got two mangas so I got Beast of Abigail Volume 2. I own Volume 1. I haven't read it yet, but I wanted to get Volume 2 because it was super cheap. And then I got Dream and Sun Volume 4 because, again, haven't read the first three, but got Volume 4 as well. <laughs> so I finished something today. So I finished Generation Witch. Um, this was just a little manga about like 1% of the population is witches or something. And we follow like some different characters and different perspectives. Um, I believe we follow three we've been it's like a lot of back and forth so i'm a little bit confused but it was enjoyable it was a lot of fun i think i'm gonna give it like 3.25 or 3.5 i'll definitely be picking up the next volume if i um see it because i got this one at book outlet it's one of the ones i forgot to show you in the previous clip but if i see volume two there i'll definitely pick it up for a cheap price but i'm not gonna spend like um 15 on volume two but if it's on sale i'm gonna get it and read it because this was super fun and i love my witchy stuff Hello, so it is the Monday after Booktubeathon. Um, I wanted to update you guys on how I did. Um, yesterday I was at the drive-in super late, so I didn't read much yesterday. But so I managed to get done 11 books, starting with one of the Shadowhunter novellas, um, Every Exquisite Thing. I really enjoyed this one. I gave it around a four star rating. Next, I read Dropkick Romance by Sarah Parker. I gave this one a 4.25, a super solid collection. Then I read All Your Perfects by Colleen Hoover, which I was very sh unsure of my thoughts of. I think I'm giving it around a three star rating. Girl Volume 2, which I'm also giving around three stars. Make Monsters Out of Girls, which I'm giving a 3.5 out of five stars. Leon the Offbeat, which I listened to the audiobook of and gave three stars. Um, I DNF'd On the Fence by Casey West. And then I read Everything Changed When I Forgave Myself. I gave this one around three stars as well. I read Adulthood is a Myth, which I gave five stars. I read B and Puppy Cat Volume 1, which I gave around 3 stars as well. Last but not least, I read Generation Witch, which I also gave around a 3 star rating. So those were all my books for Booktubeathon. I hope you guys enjoyed the daily vlogs. Let me know what you thought about them in the comments down below and if I should do them again for, well, I always do them for a Booktubeathon, but Contemporaryathon, which is hosted by some of my friends coming up in September. So let me know if you want me to daily vlog for that or something like that but thank you so so much for watching all my vlogs this week and if you discovered me through booktubeathon let me know i would find that pretty interesting so yeah thank you guys so so much for watching and i'll see you super soon bye whatever you do in life will be insignificant but it's very important that you do it because nobody else will